Hello, this is Nick Lang with the National Concrete Masonry Association, and I am here with your Tech Tip Tuesday. A question we get a lot here at NCMA is how can concrete masonry comply with code mandated air barrier requirements? Back in 2012, the International Energy Conservation Code added some specific requirements for air barrier materials, assemblies, and overall building air leakage with the intent of reducing the energy used within buildings due to air leakage and air loss. Now, contained within those requirements were a series of performance requirements for yeah, either a material, an assembly, or the entire building, but also some deemed to comply options that were written into it. And luckily, a couple of those helped to cover concrete masonry. This is our NCMA Tech Note uh, 6-14 on control of air leakage, and it spells out kind of all these different deemed to comply options with concrete masonry. And we have a nice chart here that shows a couple of the different options, such as fully grouted units, uh, putting exterior uh, taped insulation on, or masonry coated with um, a couple of different types of either high quality latex paint, commercial grade latex paint, or masonry block filler. And so you, as you can see, there's a series of different options that can be used in order to help concrete masonry comply as an air barrier assembly. Now, in addition to this tech note, we also have a frequently asked question, 03-14, it's kind of a short version of specifically that information, which covers the requirements for different materials and then all the different options out there for concrete masonry uh, in, in order to comply. So I hope this helps to answer any questions about code required air barrier requirements. As always, if you have a question that we can help to address, please leave it in the comments and we'll get to it on a future Tech Tip Tuesday. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.